and what are these J-root assertions? Assertions are used to validate a test whether it is passed or failed. J-root Jupyter annotations are kept in org.jnuta.jupyter.api.assertions class. Okay, and all of the methods here are static. Let's start executing all the methods one by one. Okay, now let's clear this up to now. Let's try to delete these things. So it will be good for us when we are checking the logs and everything. Okay, if it's come to, let's start with the assert equals. Okay, it will check whether the expected and actual results are same or not. Okay, and I have already run it before. Suppose the result is not same, it will be failed. You can check it here. Yeah, see here, it is expecting one, but the result is zero. Okay, which come to asset not equals, it fails when expected result equal to actual results. Okay, it's the opposite of asset equals, guys. Suppose you have two ones here, let's try to run it. Now we'll get the result. Okay. Here it is saying like expected not equal. Right. So what we want to do means we want to give some unequal result. So it will be passed. Okay. If you give the same result, then it will be failed. Like uh, if you are expecting one and if you got the one here, that test case will be failed. And if it's come to asset true, it fails if the expression is not true. And if it's come to asset false, it fails when expression is not false. Okay. Let's check it one by one. Let's give some true here. Okay. You can check. Now the result is true. So it passed. Okay. If it is false, it will fail, guys. Now let's check for asset fail sorry asset false and let's try to give false here up to now i'm just giving it uh, checking it locally by guys but when i started mockito i will start testing with the code here i have already written some code so we can uh, test these scenarios by using the code up to now just as i was teaching you some basics I was just uh, keeping it very easy and if it is not null it will be failed when actual result is not null okay and if it's come to assert not null it will be failed when the actual result is null and let's check it guys let's try to execute some test cases here for assert null and assert not null Let's give some string and if it's come to set null, let's give null here and let's try to run it. You can check it here that as case is passing right. It means our as case it means it's uh, this asset statement are true. Okay. And if it's come to asset all what it will do means it will group many assertions and every assertion is executed even one or more of them is failed okay let's uh, try to execute this example then i will explain so you can easily understand you can check it here guys here the assert statement will be passed but here it is failed right because here it is expecting null but it is the result is not null right but again here if it's come to here this asset statement will be passed the reason of uh, using asset and uh, the reason of introduction of asset dal is suppose i will explain you some uh, other test case then you can clearly understand what i am saying okay let me write some other test case public y test to asset false Let's go through here. 
and asset true let's go true here suppose if i have executed this test method what it will say means the first one is failing right so what it will do means it will do not execute this second SS statement suppose for the, if the first SS statement is failed then it will stop executing other SS statement below it okay suppose the, let's assume there are three SS statement and the first one is passed and the second one is failed what it will do means it will stop executing the assertions from here only it will not go below but if it's come to assert all whatever happened suppose here you can observe the second test case is failed right i can say like a uh, second assert statement is failed but it still execute all the asset statement if it's come to here suppose the first asset statement is failed and it will stop executing other asset statements but if it's come to here it will execute all the asset statement whatever it may be it happened maybe all the asset statements are failed okay but it will execute every asset statement it will say everything is failed like that okay let me give you some example here so you can clearly understand and let's uh, remove it let's try to run this you can check here it is saying two test two asset statements are failures let's give false here and let's try to run it here what it will say means it will show error for the first one only it means once the first asset statement is failed it's not executing from the second asset statement but if it's come to asset all it will execute all the asset statement what are the result of the first or second asset statement okay it don't depend on the uh, earlier asset statement result okay it will execute all the asset statement okay it is one of the important uh, asset statement guys if it's come to asset throws how it works means suppose let's assume there is some method which gives exception okay if we want to test whether the exception scenario is working or not then we want to use this asset throws method let me explain you some basic example okay and here what i want to do means i want to throw exception from this method first of all let's declare that this method will throw exception and let's throw exception from here when the method is called okay now I want to check whether when I'm calling the method whether it is throwing some exception or not. How to check it by using this asset throws method. Okay. Now we can just use this exception dot class here. And you can simply say comma and you can use some lambda expressions. Okay, you can just call this test two method here. Let's try to run it. This test case will be passed because here we are getting some exception, right? Suppose let's uh, don't throw any exception, guys. Let's check what is the result here. Let's run it again. Now, if you check it, the result will be. And finally we are done with the JNFI guys.